On the front, you can have one optical plugged in. Zoom out. So we had the 515 Lameca. I simply go back to our home screen, main menu. We're back in the home screen. I disconnect my photo facial. And during the treatment, I would have, you know, very subtly said to the lady, you know, Yolanda, is, is that um, four inch hair growth on your leg working for you? Or would you like to treat it? Because you know what? I really, I care about your social life and this just probably ain't working for you. And so uh, we can offer hair removal at the same time on the same device. And this is what the diode looks like. It's an 810 diode. 810 is important because you can treat white skin with dark hair and dark skin with dark hair. What you can't treat is any skin without dark hair because the target is the hair shaft. Think of a, like a lightning bolt to a key. You gotta go down the shaft. The most we might use is a little pulse nitrous oxide while we're doing it. We shave to a stubble, still look for easy extraction, smell of photocoagulated hair, and a little erythema, uh, peripheral erythema and edema, but that's basically it. So now we're gonna take our applicator, we're gonna come back to the machine, we're gonna plug this in. It's gotta do a little, um, that's all you need to do. Here's your diode along the top, zoom in on the diode if you can a bit. Right here, we've looked at Morpheus, Forma, Lameca, now the diode. Hit the ready button, it goes for self-test, just charging. And remember in this box, we have a very high fluence electrocytical generator for the Morpheus. We've got a RF generator for the Forma. There is a diode in here for hair removal. There's a YAG in here, neodymium YAG for the YAG. And there's a flash lamp for IPL. And here, when you see a woman like that, you gotta be thinking some endocrinological abnormality, polycystic ovary, adrenal tumor, hypophyseal tumor, send an endocrinologist to you know, make sure they get treated, but they can still do laser hair removal. Just they can never be cured because they got a great and a huge androgen drive to that hirsutism. But look for the cause of hirsutism and then treat the symptom, of course, which is um, the skin. Again, this was an adrenal tumor. Now, guys also show up mainly for chest and backs. But sometimes they get that shaving rash, pseudofeoculitis, tinea barbie right here. So it's great below the beard line. And then you know, most, most guys don't want to shave up to the pseudo lash line. So a little beard control above works well on the face for these kind of guys. And then most guys are going to treat backs. And that's usually going to be uh, treatment every growth cycle, which is going to be on a guy's back eh, every eight weeks, a series of five treatments. For about 80% reduction, I would say, sir, we can get 50 to 60% of all your hair to be dead forever. Come back for maintenance two times a year. 